Hey everyone, welcome back to Cocktail Cards, and today we're gonna to be showing you how to make a whiskey sour. For this drink, the tools you're gonna to need is going to be a shaker, a strainer, you're gonna need a jigger to measure out your alcohol, a juicer for the fresh juice, and you're also gonna need your favorite coupe glass to serve the drink in. Now for this drink, what we're gonna do is build it out in our pint glass right here. Now, our ingredients are going to be a whiskey. Now you can use any type of whiskey you like. It can be a bourbon, it can be a rye, it doesn't matter. Uh, choose what you like and have fun. Uh, next, you're gonna have simple syrup. Now this is gonna be a one-to-one -one ratio of sugar to water. And next we're gonna have a lemon for fresh lemon juice and an egg for an egg white. Now the egg white's actually gonna make this drink really frothy and give it kind of a nice creamy texture. Now if you can't do eggs or you don't wanna leave the egg in the drink, that's totally fine. You can eliminate the egg and you won't have to do a dry shake, which I'll show you later. Um, all you have to do is make the drink like normal and just serve it over ice and it's still a delicious cocktail. So let's go ahead and jump into building our drink. Now the very first thing we're gonna wanna do is measure out two ounces of our bourbon. All right, next we're gonna put in three quarter or 0.75 ounces of lime juice. Now you can actually pre-squeeze your lime juice. I'm just doing this one for the one cocktail. So we're gonna put it into our squeezer and just measure out three quarters of an ounce. Next, we're gonna measure out the same amount in simple syrup. So we're gonna do 0.75 ounces or three quarter ounce of simple syrup. All right, so next we're gonna add the egg white. Now, what we're actually gonna do is, you can either do this one of two ways. You can crack your egg white first, or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack and put my egg white into a separate tin because I don't want to make a mistake and put yolk into my drink and have to toss it. So um, I'm just going to prepare it in a separate tin right here. Now again, all we're really trying to do is keep the egg yolk out. If you do get any sort of uh, shell or shard into your drink, um, you can still scoop it out and be totally fine at this point. All right, so once we got the egg white in there, all we're gonna do is just take our drink and pour it into our tin with our egg white. And we're gonna put the pint glass on top get a nice seal there. Now, what's actually a really good idea is to let this sit for about 10 seconds or so. What that's gonna do is gonna allow the alcohol and the lemon juice to kind of work on that egg a little bit and just cook it and help kind of break down the proteins to um, really help it get emulsified a lot better. So I like to just give it about 10 to 15 seconds, just let it sit there for a while. And then we're gonna do what's called a dry shake. So as you probably noticed, we haven't added any ice to this drink yet. So we're actually gonna give it about a 30 second shake and this is really gonna break down the egg white and allow it to emulsify into this drink and get it nice and creamy. This becomes very, very difficult if you add ice before this point. You have to shake it forever. Um, so this is kind of the way that you're gonna get it at a restaurant is they're gonna dry shake it and then we're gonna add ice and do a second shake. So let's go ahead and give it a dry shake here for about 30 seconds. All right, so once that is done, let's go ahead and separate the top here. That should be nice and creamy in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and add ice to this tin. All right, so I got my ice bin right here. Go and just fill this guy up. That should be good. Perfect, now we just pour this into our tin and we're gonna give it another nice shake to cool the drink down a little bit. All right, now that that is nice and chilled, go ahead and break that seal up. All right, we're gonna grab our coupe glass here, 
Fun little tip, if you guys are ever looking for beautiful coupe glasses, um, I actually like to get a lot of my glassware at Value Village or discount stores. A lot of times people will turn in old glassware that they have no idea how to use it. And some of them are beautiful, beautiful glasses. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our strainer on top here and we're just gonna strain this drink into our coupe glass. So it's looking nice and frothy. Excellent. All right, so now if you let it sit for a little bit, um, you can actually get some separation, create a little bit more beautiful of a drink, but it's actually nice and ready and you can drink it at this point. The only thing we really have to do is add some Angostura bitters for garnish. So what we're gonna do is take our bitters and very carefully, this is really easy if you have like a dropper or some other tool, but what we're gonna do is just try and drop in about five or six drops of bitters. Now, if you have a toothpick or a fork or anything around that's kind of sharp and pointy, um, you can take that and put it over the top and create little patterns in your cocktail. And there you have it, a whiskey sour. It's gonna be nice and creamy, uh, bourbon forward drink that's gonna have a good citrus flavor from the lemon. The sugar is really gonna help balance out that uh, lemon flavor as well. It's just a delicious all around drink. Extremely, extremely popular. And uh, I know for a lot of people, it's really hard to duplicate this kind of drink at home. So hopefully this was helpful in showing you exactly how you can make a whiskey sour at home. Hey, was that fun? If you guys really enjoyed that recipe and that drink, make sure you check out some of our other videos uh, where we actually go over well over a hundred different ingredients of all of your favorite cocktails and showing you how to make all of them at home. So uh, make sure you check out those videos. Thank you so much for watching. My name is AJ with Cocktail Cards, your number one source for making cocktails at home. See ya.